everybody. This is Whisper Sister, and um, this is a Whisper Rune reading for Danish vlog. Um, I actually happened to uh, get the house to myself tonight. I don't know how long that's going to last, so I need to take advantage of this. Um, so, uh, and yeah, I'm really actually quite grateful to have a chance to do this right now, because, um, these things are wonderful for sort of putting things in perspective for me as well, and uh, taking the focus off of my own life and my own experience, <laughs> which uh, is a very nice thing. So thank you, uh, and Danish vlog, I hope that this gives you something to think about, some kind of uh, guidance. You just sort of asked for a general uh, reading, so there's no specific issue that I'm focusing on or anything. I'm just gonna try to actually, like, empty out my mind and just hope that I choose some stones that give you some, something useful to think about. So, this is for you, DV. Love ya. Obstruction in your passage. 
yet always you have a choice. You can see this apparent negativity as bad luck, or you can recognize it as an obstacle course, a challenge specific to the initiation you are presently undergoing. Um, then each setback, each humiliation becomes a test of character. When your inner being is shifting and reforming on a deep level, patience, constancy, and perseverance are called for. So stay centered, see the humor, and keep your faith firm. Uh, okay, I have to say something at this point. Um, I apologize it's, uh, if this is not accurate for you. I think what might be happening is that these things are reading me <laughs> because um, I have a feeling this is exactly like the reading that I would get if I were to do one on myself right now. It may so happen that you're dealing with the same kinds of things, so I hope that this is actually for you. If it isn't, if this is all bullshit, if you hear this and you're like, what the hell does that mean? Let me know. I will do another one for you, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, so that's the reverse reading. Um, this is the upright reading, and so this is kind of like, uh, I don't want to use a word like positive, but this is maybe the more uh, fully manifested version of this rune that is currently hidden by blockages or something. Okay. Um, a mystery rune pointing to that which is beyond our frail manipulative powers. Birth is on the side of heaven, the unknowable, and has associations with the phoenix. That mystical bird, which consumes itself in the fire and then rises from its own ashes, its ways are secret and hidden. Powerful forces of change are at work here, yet what is achieved is not easily or readily shared. After all, becoming whole, the means of it, is a profound secret. On the side of the earthly or mundane, there may well be surprises, gains, or rewards that you did not anticipate. On the side of human nature, this rune is symbolized by the flight of the eagle. Soaring flight, free from entanglement, lifting yourself above the endless ebb and flow of ordinary life to acquire broader vision. All this is indicated here. Another of the cycle runes, birth stands at the heart of initiation. Nothing external matters here, except as it shows you its inner reflection. This rune is concerned with the deepest stratum of our being, the bedrock on which our destiny is founded. For some, birth means experiencing a death. If need be, let go of everything. No exceptions, no exclusions. Nothing less than renewal of the spirit is at stake. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And again, um, I hope I'm not uh, hijacking your reading here for myself. Um, your challenge is Isa, which is standstill. I don't know that I'm going to be able to offer you much in the way of my own personal interpretation because I, uh, I'm a little bit too, um, invested in my own stuff right now. I'm sorry. I'd be glad to do another reading for you later on, or if you happen to, you know, ever have a specific issue come up, I would be glad to do that for you. Okay. So, but then again, maybe this is going to be right on, on track with what you're dealing with, so <laughs> let me know, because I'm finding this a little bit amusing. Um, I didn't intend for this to be so uh, in line with my own, uh, uh, my own current um, situation. Okay. spiritual life is upon you. You may feel yourself entangled in a situation to whose implications you are in effect blind. You may feel powerless to do anything except submit, surrender, even sacrifice some long-cherished desire. Be patient, for this is the period of gestation that precedes a rebirth. Positive accomplishment is unlikely now. There is a freeze on useful activity. All your plans are on hold. You may be experiencing an unaccustomed drain on your energy and wonder why. A 
chill wind is reaching you over the ice flows of old outmoded habits. Trying to hold on can result in shallowness of feeling, a sense of being out of touch with life. Seek to discover what it is you're holding on to that perpetuates this condition and let go. Shed, release, cleanse away the old. Doing so will bring on the thaw. Usually, Isa requires a sacrifice of the personal, the I. At such a time, you cannot hope to rely on help or friendly support, and yet there is no reason for anxiety. Submit and be still, for what you are experiencing is not necessarily the result of your actions or habits, but rather arises from conditions about which you can do nothing. What has been full must empty. What has increased must decrease. This is the way of heaven and earth. To surrender is to display courage and wisdom. And yet there is another face to stand still. Just as winter is a time for going within, drawing Isa can announce a time of restoration and renewal at the deepest level. In your solitude, exercise caution and do not stubbornly persist in attempting to work your will. Remain mindful that the seed of the new is present in the shell of the old. The seed of unrealized potential, the seed of the good. Trust your own process and watch for signs of spring. Okay, so that's your challenge. And I mean, knowing a little bit about what your, um, what's going on in your life, I can see how that might be relevant for you as well. So I hope it is. Um, hang on. And your action called for is uh, algae's, which I believe is protection. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so this is your action called for. Uh, I'm sorry. Either we're going through an identical process and challenge at the moment, or I've totally hijacked your reading. I'll, I'll do another one. 
for you, like, on the weekend or something when I've, uh, when I can, I guess, step back and not, uh, impose my own interpretations on this. Okay. Either way, uh, I hope that you enjoyed listening to this, and, um, I hope that everything's going really well for you. I think of you often and hope that you're doing well, so take care. I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye.